Miss O'Haley again, back for a first chapter Friday. The book that I've chosen this week was a book I read. It's really short, really quick, so if you're looking for a quick read, it's a good one. Um, and a student of mine suggested it to me. She said they read it in class and that she loved it and wanted to know what I thought. So I found it and I loved it too. It's really like just minimal. So it's super short, doesn't have a lot to it, but you just have so much to think about when it's over. So it's a really great one. So I'm just gonna read you the first chapter so you can see if you wanna read it too. And it's called Skellig by David Almond. And this is what the cover looks like, at least on a Kindle. Get through all the front stuff. All right, are we ready for chapter one? I found him in the garage on a Sunday afternoon. It was the day after we moved into Falconer Road. The winter was ending. Mum had said we'd be moving just in time for the spring. Nobody else was there, just me. The others were inside the house with Dr. Death worrying about the baby. He was lying there in the darkness behind the tea chests and the dust and dirt. It was as if he'd been there forever. He was filthy and pale and dried out, and I thought he was dead. I couldn't have been more wrong. I'd soon begin to see the truth about him, that there'd never be another creature like him in the world. We called it the garage because that's what the real estate agent, Mr. Stone, called it. It was more like a demolition site or a rubbish dump or like one of those ancient warehouses they keep pulling down at the wharf. Stone led us down the garden, tugged the door open, and shined his little flashlight into the gloom. We shoved our heads into the doorway with him. You have to see it with your mind's eye, he said. See it cleaned with new doors and the roof repaired. See it as a wonderful two-car garage. He looked at me with a stupid grin on his face. Or something for you, lad, a hideaway for you and your pals. What about that, eh? I looked away. I didn't want anything to do with him. All the way around the house, it had been the same. Just see it in your mind's eye. Just imagine what could be done. All the way around, I kept thinking of the old man, Ernie Myers, that had lived here on his own for years. He'd been dead nearly a week before they found him under the table in the kitchen. That's what I saw when, I, when Stone told us about seeing what, with the mind's eye. He even said it when we got to the dining room and there was an old cracked toilet sitting there in the corner behind a plywood screen. I just wanted him to shut up, but he whispered that toward the end, Ernie couldn't manage the stairs. His bed was brought in here and a toilet was put in so everything was easy for him. Stone looked at me like he didn't think I should know about such things. I wanted to get out, to get back to our old house again, but mom and dad took it all in. They went on like it was going to be some big adventure. They bought the house. They started cleaning it and scrubbing it and painting it. Then the baby came too early and here we were. This book is a really awesome book. It's about a little boy and they're in England and he has a really sick baby sister and this house that they're describing right here that he moves into, something really crazy is in the garage and his neighbor helps him figure it all out. So I'm telling you, it's short. It's really an easy book to get through, but it's so good and has so, so much to think about. So if you're looking for a really good read, a really quick read, but just an awesome read, Skellig is the one for you. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a fabulous Friday.